What if I told you there are hackers out there doing their thing and you wouldn't even know they exist? Sounds wild, right? Today, we're breaking down the secrets behind how hackers stay completely anonymous online. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll know the tricks that make these digital ghosts disappear. No smoke, no mirrors, just pure stealth. Let's dive in. The first trick in a hacker's invisibility toolkit is VPNs and proxy servers. Because why wouldn't you want to surf the web like a secret agent in a spy movie, right? VPNs are like throwing on a digital ninja mask, creating a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and some random server halfway across the world. Now your IP address is playing a game of hide and seek, making it almost impossible to figure out where you really are. And then there are proxy servers. Think of these as the middlemen hackers send in to do the dirty work, like making your online requests without giving away your real identity. But wait, there's more. By hopping between multiple proxy servers, hackers are essentially playing digital hopscotch, making it a nightmare for anyone trying to trace them back. Next up in the hacker's magic bag of tricks, spoofing techniques. Yup, because what's more fun than pretending to be someone you're not? First, we've got IP address spoofing. Imagine a hacker playing the ultimate game of Where's Waldo? But the hacker is Waldo, and they're messing with the map. By tweaking the source IP address, they can make it look like they're sipping coffee in Paris while they're really sitting on their couch in pajamas. The result? The attack looks like it came from somewhere completely unrelated, maybe even your grandma's house. But don't worry, she's innocent. Then there's email address spoofing, basically hackers dressing up their emails in a digital disguise. It's like sending a letter with someone else's name on the envelope. By falsifying the from address, they can make their phishing emails look legit. And now let's talk about hackers and their love for cryptocurrencies. Because who needs cash when you can get paid in magic internet money? Hackers demand payments in Bitcoin like it's the new black market gold. Why? Well, cryptocurrencies offer a level of anonymity that's hard to beat. Sure, all transactions are on the blockchain, but trying to figure out who owns a specific wallet is like playing detective in a maze, wearing a blindfold. By this, hackers get to keep their identities hidden while raking in digital dough. Next up, we've got the Tor network, because why take the main road when you can use the internet's back alleys? Tor works by bouncing a user's internet traffic through a series of volunteer-run servers, making their IP address disappear with multiple layers of security, because Tor stands for the onion router. And just like peeling an onion, trying to trace someone's location on Tor will probably make you cry. Hackers love using Tor to access the dark web, which is like the internet's secret basement that your regular search engines can't find. It's no surprise it's a hacker favorite, because nothing says I'm up to something sneaky like surfing the web in full stealth mode. And now let's dive into the dark web, because every good hacker story needs a secret lair, right? The dark web is like the underground market of the internet, where hackers go shopping for all the things they need, tools, stolen data, even hacking services. It's basically Amazon for cyber criminals, minus the next day delivery. And of course, everything here is paid for in cryptocurrencies because nothing screams, I'm totally innocent, like paying with digital coins that can't be traced. So if you ever wondered where hackers get their gear and keep their identities hidden, the dark web is their go-to shopping mall, but with way fewer receipts. And let's not forget about encrypted communication, because even hackers need their private group chats, right? Hackers use encrypted messaging apps like they're sending top-secret spy notes. These apps use end-to-end -end encryption, which means only the intended recipient can read the message. It's like sending a letter in a super-locked box that only your friend has the key to. Meanwhile, law enforcement is left scratching their heads, trying to crack the code like it's the world's hardest escape room. So while the rest of us are chatting in plain sight, hackers are having their secret conversations behind digital vault doors. And good luck getting in without the key. So if you had a blast watching, give that like button a high fi and subscribe for more. Catch you in the next one.